An F-15 fighter starts from rest and reaches a speed of 165 meters per second in two seconds when launched off an aircraft carrier. What is the plane's acceleration? All right, let's start with a diagram of what we know. So this is my jet, ooh, fast jet. And it's gonna start over here at rest. And then it's gonna go over here. So there's my jet. And now it's traveling with a velocity of 165 meters per second. And so over here, this is V naught is equal to zero. And it's gonna make this motion in two seconds. And the question is, what is the acceleration? Let's list our givens next. All right, starting with the givens, uh, we know the initial velocity is equal to zero. We know the final velocity is equal to 165 meters per second. We know the time is equal to two seconds. And we're looking for the acceleration. Okay, let's get started on this. So at this point, I can see that if I look through all my equations, I need an equation that's going to have um, variables in it of v, uh, v naught, v, t, and a. And one that we have for that is a relationship that says the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the change in velocity. So that's v equals v naught plus a t. I am looking for what's the plane's acceleration, so I need to rearrange these to isolate a. So I'll start with a t is equal to v minus v naught, and then a is equal to v minus v naught over t. So the acceleration is equal to the final velocity, 165 meters per second, minus zero, divided by two seconds. So the acceleration is going to be 82.5 meters per second squared. So that was part A. Part B. How much distance did the jet cover in two seconds? So how much distance did the jet cover in two seconds? I can use my acceleration over again if I have a lot of confidence in it. Um, or I can use the average velocity relationship. Either way is fine. If I use average velocity, it doesn't have acceleration. I know the average velocity is distance over time, and the average of any two numbers is just the average of the numbers over two. Since it's a velocity, I take the average of the two velocities divided by two. That seems easy enough. And I want to find x. So let me isolate x. x is equal to v plus v naught times t divided by two. So x is equal to the final velocity. 165 meters per second plus zero times the time, which is two seconds, divided by two. So in this case, x is 165 meters.